So that's a scanner in the background, by the way, that we listen to all the time, listening to what's going on in the community. <laughs> I've been all over the world. I've lived in many different towns, and this town is actually the first town that I've come across that both Willie and I have felt that we've wanted to to give to the community, to help the community. And I think that community spirit's been here for the last 100 odd years, and it's, yeah, it's in the DNA of this the whole west coast. Mm. Hey, uh, see you neighbour. I love the people here. Usually in the morning shifts, they're my favourite kind of people. You're always watching out for your community and I've been here forever. Quite a few of our locals are worried. That was the whole reason for starting the Night Owls. So about two and a half years ago, there was 20, 25 cars getting broken into a night. Originally, most of the crime was meth-based. It was guys that needed money to buy more drugs. There was a lot of Facebook talk, vigilante groups, violence. And whether that's kneecapping or baseball bats or whatever it may be, you know, this is the sort of talk that was going on. So we decided, well, something has to be done. We just can't keep talking shit on Facebook. So a group of us, Mates decided, right, we'll just go out and start patrolling. And we did. Callum was at work, so I was home alone late with the kids. And we'd had a previous person try and get into the house a few weeks beforehand. And the cars got broken into, and I was a little on edge. And the TV had been switched off and I was already going to bed and I heard a scraping on the door behind you. And it was obviously a zipper of someone's jacket as they were creeping along <laughs> the door. So I uh, called a police officer who had given me his number last time. I'm waiting for him to come around and looking out the windows at the road and I saw a lot of four-wheel drives coming past rather slowly and it got me a little paranoid. So when the police officer turned up, I, I went out to talk to him and I'm telling him that these cars kept driving past really slowly and just as I said it to him, along comes one of them and I'm like, there's one now, here comes one of them. And um, Willie sticks his head out the window. When we found out about them, we're like, well, if we've got these people out watching our backs, we'll go out we'd, there and yeah, help we'd, them. We'd better go and, and um, you know, do our bit, basically. Thank you. Here we go, matey. I'm sure we'll see you again. No, you yeah. enjoy. Yes. Is this the first time you've tried us? Yes, yes. Okay, we'll see you again. <laughs> see? <laughs> That's lovely. You enjoy your meal. See you later. I'm gonna leave it over here. That's for your apricot pizza, Jacob. Yep. <laughs> hey, Alicia, it's Vanessa. Pizza. Uh, it's a zucchini relish. So we'll see you out on the night hours a bit later, or will we? Hopefully, all going well? Prob probably, hopefully. I've gotta go out and knock off. Go and pick up Willie, okay? okay. Hey, darling. I'm all right. How's it going here? Yeah, have a night. So you're going to leave these dishes for the morning, are you? Yeah, just going to rinse off the garage. Right. Oh, okay. What did I see on Facebook recently? Uh, 
that somebody was stabbed in Gothard Park Place and there was three people involved and three people charged. Did you hear about that one? Yeah, it's a mess, Dick. Was it? Yeah, too much piss. Ah. Usual. Not our problem. Oh, well. You driving? Uh, well, I'm always driving at the moment. You lost your licence, remember? Things have been really quiet, even on the Carvatory Night Owl page. Not a lot's uh, been said few, lately. I've had a few messages through. Oh, have you? Mm. There's that guy on Facebook that was trying up car doors in the middle of town. Mm. But I think everyone knows who that is. And... Is um, Christine and Alicia coming out? Uh, yep. Christine's going to meet up with us, and Alicia's going to catch up after work. Rodney's out tonight. Oh, is he? Yeah. I thought he was in hospital. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Far out. If the hospital knew, um, they probably wouldn't be too impressed about it. But I just need to have my space at times, and yeah. When you're in there as much as I am, it just can be too much. Ready for the night anyway, are you? Yeah, yeah. See what's happening. Hey. What the bloody hell are you doing here when you've been in hospital, eh? Oh no, they let me out. Oh, they <laughs> let you out. Right, that should do it. Sounds good. Uh, right. Am I with Rodney? I'll look up. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Person on your left. Dodgy. Dodgy. Drunk. Right. That's um, what's in it, isn't it? Yeah, good job. Here's what I was thinking. another drive past to that dairy back okay. there. There was like a box or something out the front, like electrical box or something. Oh. But I didn't know if something was draped over it or somebody was draped over it. Oh, he's off. Hang on, cops are out and about. And he's just about to cruise somewhere. My way? Yeah, my way. So where do you reckon it was? We'll go around at the front of the dairy. See, there's something weird with their setup. <laughs> Who is it? Guy with a beard. Haven't seen him before. What's he doing? It's just flags, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know what? I cannot still see what you're talking about. Is that letterbox? Oh. I'd rather be safe than sorry. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. How's work? Anyone give you trouble? Uh, pretty steady. Oh, we did have a bit of a egg in uh -huh. the pub tonight. I am naked, but I do like doing a couple of laps after work just to check the place out, make sure you know a couple of drunks didn't get disorientated or um, someone doesn't need a ride home because they've fallen in the bush somewhere. So you just do it. My partner definitely gets worried about me doing this, um, but he knows that I like people and I need to make sure that people are safe. See you later. See ya.
Tony was a part of my life, I guess you can say it like that, yeah. I experienced it and tried it and it got pretty hefty at times. I think we, I started using quite bad. Um, I noticed it was not good for our family and um, yeah, so I decided to quit. I think the night owls is, is actually a, a breakthrough for me, sort of thing, I guess, in a way. Um, it gives me something to do. I look at this town as like it's my family. Like I want to, you know, be there for people when they need help or if someone's struggling they can ask and we'll be there. White bait for dinner. Then you cook them. I'm going to cook them here. OK, you, you're in charge. It's not about Neighbourhood Watch. It's more so about everybody getting involved and looking after after each other. You know, we did this for a reason. Um, we did this to look after the community, to look after the elderly, to stop this thieving going on and to, to help everybody out. And if everybody did that, it would be a better world. Um, but it needs everybody's help in that equation.